Am I happy to see you? I'm in a bit of a situation here. Locked in. And I'm not alone. What should we do? How do we get out of this room? Some doors in Metamorphosis require voice recognition data to open. It's Cooper. Good job getting the girl out of immediate danger. You seem to have a solid handle on things. With the arrival approaching, we're being watched more closely than ever and so I have to pretend to work. However, I'm installing a help desk in your OmniView display. Select the help desk icon if you need my expertise along the way. Good luck tonight. No doubt, the girl would be doomed without you. Signor Octavo joins Metamorphosis. Librarian is now preeminent manifesto scholar. I met the librarian this morning. He's a sweet man, with his heart sewn directly onto his adorable little lapel. And I do so admire his passion for literature. In a former life, I would swoon over a well-read man. But I hope for his sake, he learns to bury that part of himself. In here, following your passion is the shortest road to recalibration. Y390H, I see you're admiring our latest installation. Why do you keep these books away from us? I can handle them. <laughs> Maybe you're right. However, there are others in your class who are not as strong as you. And books like those can make them sick. Would it be fair to let you read them? but keep them from your friends? That doesn't sound fair. Well then, so are you saying you would prefer that they read them too? Will you have their illness on your conscience? I don't want that either. Of course not. I am not a filter for your ideas, child. I am your shield. There is so much ugliness in this world. Let me stand in the way of it. Let me stare it down. Your eyes are too pretty to witness such things. I... I appreciate the compliment, Headmaster. Three nine zero H. You must hurry along now. The rest of your class is already inside. Why does he hold those books away from us, Senor Octavo? It is the headmaster's belief that those books sully the minds of precals and should therefore be removed from our curriculum. But that isn't what you believe, is it? 
books like these do not paint a rosy picture of the world, but they are not meant to. They are not paintings of the world we want. They are mirrors reflecting the world we have. Thanks for getting me out of there. I don't know what that Prisrak's intentions were, but I'm glad we didn't stick around to find out. I'll be taking this. So the girl wants to find the librarian. I hope he can help her, but I fear she may overestimate his influence inside Metamorphosis. This place is changing, evolving into something even more sinister than its original purpose. In searching for a librarian, remember, you have a map. Use it to check out areas you visited. Salinger, amateur sculptor of teenage angst. In Catcher in the Rye, he forces us to watch Holden flit from school to school. Oh, poor Eo, tormented by Hera's gadfly. When Caulfield realizes that he, not the institutions, beleaguer him the most, he is truly at risk. Our beloved pre-cows must never know their gadflies and ever rely on their republic to satisfy. We don't need another Mark David Chapman. about to send the girl back through the part of the facility she just escaped from. There may be something for you back here, but I doubt there is anything of use to her. Mireille's liberal arts education is of little benefit in this crushing environment. I wonder if she would even recognize her former, idealistic self. A 
a cell phone charger, worthless without the phone, but no less dangerous as contraband. It's a taser. A Zager cassette. Pages from the mini manifesto. Looks like they've been ripped out. Mireya would be wise to dispose of these more discreetly. Something in those pages has Mireya quite upset. Zager's words sting like tear gas in the eyes of the establishment. What are you buying? Leaving so soon. <laughs> <laughs> 